Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I've got something really cool to show you in Fusion 360. There's been a, a pretty big update recently to Fusion 360 and it's brought along a lot of new features. If you're interested in finding out what these features are, I leave a link below where you can go and read about them. But in this video, what I'm going to concentrate on is how you can now export your 3D models directly to a slicer of your choice. So it used to be that in Fusion 360, whenever you've created a 3D model and you wanted to export the STL files for 3D printing, you used to have to use either Autodesk's own software called Mesh Mixer, which is kind of like a slicer, or you had to just export the file to a path such as your desktop or your documents. But this is no longer the case and you can now select whichever 3D print utility that you, you want. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So this is a model of a gearbox that I created recently. Um, it's a simple little model, and you can see we've got a cover, and that's basically what it looked like. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this 3D printed and working. Go follow me if you haven't already. But what we're concentrating on is just exporting to 3D print. So on the menu at the top, you'll see you've got solid surface, sheet metal, and tools. So you wanna to click tools, and you'll see this make button on the left. Click that and you'll see a 3D print menu pop up on the right, you can see it here. So the first thing we wanna do is select the component that we wanna export. So in my case, I'm just gonna export this enclosure part. So I'm gonna click that and you'll see it highlight as a mesh and that just kinda of helps you visualize what part you're exporting. But on the menu now, what we wanna concentrate on is the bottom part where it says output. So if we click the print utility drop down, you can see we've got in there mesh mixer, print studio, preform and custom. We didn't used to have this custom option and you were forced to either use mesh mixer or those other options. So now you can click custom and underneath there's a little folder icon. So if you click that, you can see you, you're taken to your Windows Explorer. And what we want to do is find the file path where our slicer is installed. Now, whichever one you're using, you need to go and find that. But in this case, I'm using Prusa Slicer. So what I do is come into the local C drive, come down to Program Files, and in here, there should be a file called Prusa 3D. So I'm going to click into that. We've got Prusa Slicer there. And we've also got Slicer Prusa Edition, if you still prefer to use that. But I'm going to go with Prusa Slicer. In there you'll see a .exe file which is just the executable for the software. You want to click that and then click open. And what you'll see on that 3D print menu on the right is we can now see application and in brackets Prusa Slicer. So it's set up to export directly there. So if we click OK, what we'll see now is that our export will just automatically open Prusa Slicer and there it is and our model is just in there ready to go. And you know, as you, as you normally would, you can select the model and pretty much slice it and print it right from there. And this is one of those little updates that people really, really appreciate. It just saves you a little bit of time and helps improve your workflow. And honestly, I th I'm really glad and I appreciate that they've added this. So I know a lot of you who watch my videos are interested in 3D printing, but maybe you don't have a lot of 3D modeling experience. So what I'm doing at the moment is putting together a Fusion 360 beginners course. And I'm basically trying to create a course that I wish I had when I started 3D modeling. And I'm covering all the basics and all the essential things you need just to get up and running and designing anything you want. Um, I'm going to leave a link below if you're interested. You can go check out the syllabus on my website and you'll just be able to see exactly what topics I'll be going over. And I'm hoping to launch the course sometime in October or November. If you want to find out when it launches, you can subscribe to my email list where I'll notify you when it's launched. Don't worry, I don't spam you. I use my email list very wisely and I'd really appreciate it if you did sign up. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it really, really useful. This is, as I said, it's a little feature, but I thought I'd share it because it's, it's just one of the things that I really appreciate. So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you that subscribe and watch my videos. It means a lot. 
If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content and please leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below to my Patreon where you can support me financially and in return you get access to some exclusive content, but it's up to you. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of the videos on screen and I hope you have an awesome day.